Whether you're just starting out on your laser engraving journey or your business is thriving and you're looking to upgrade, I think the brand new Omtech Pronto is gonna offer a little something for everybody. If you're new here, my name is Ryan with the Rise and Grind Workshop and one of the most popular questions I get behind my power settings would be, what is the benefit of upgrading to the Pronto line of Omtech CO2 laser engravers over their baseline models? Well, the first thing I can tell you about the Pronto line of CO2 laser engravers, this is a completely all new redesigned laser. This unit does not share any similarities to the baseline model. When it comes to laser engraving, maintaining proper focal distance is crucial. One of the really neat features you'll notice on the Pronto is a non-contact, fully automatic auto-focusing system. And if you take a quick look at the image on the screen, that's gonna give you a rough visual idea of how this scanning system works. So for this example, we need to go ahead and laser engrave this message on the front of this pine. We're gonna go ahead and locate this blank inside of our Omtech laser engraver. We highly recommend when using this new autofocus on the Pronto, you place your work material in the back corner where it's gonna be very easy for these scanning heads to track your material. You don't want any obstructions in the way. Find the button that says focus on your Ruida controller. Go ahead and press the focus button. You'll get a menu confirming you want to initiate the autofocus. And here's a pro tip for you. I don't trust any of these autofocusing system on these laser engravers. I'm gonna stand here with my hand on the e-stop just in case we run into trouble. Now with our hand hovering the e-stop, go ahead and decompress the enter key. You'll notice the auto bed leveling. And just like that, we're in focus. Whether or not you're a fan of autofocus or not, most your CO2 laser engravers will also have the option to do a manual focus, which is gonna give you much more precise control over your focal length. Now, anytime you're using an autofocus system, that's a lot of trust. I would highly recommend you get out the manual focus gauge and double check to make sure that your autofocus is calibrated, preventing any further issues down the road. Go ahead and jog the laser head over your work material. Omtech will supply you with this little piece of acrylic. This is the focal height set at the factory. You're gonna slide this between the work material and the cone of that laser nozzle. So as you can see, we need to raise the material up to the nose cone a little bit closer. We're gonna go ahead and do that over on the Runita controller. On the Omtech Pronto, find the Z up key and go ahead and press that once or twice. You're looking for that spacer to just barely make contact with that nose cone and then you will remove it. That is how you manually set your focus. The new Pronto also features an inline red dot indicator. This makes framing out your jobs extremely easy and you no longer have that pesky hardware hanging off of that nose cone which always gets knocked out of alignment. So far, this Pronto has been a very versatile workhorse here in the Rise and Grind workshop. They also make this in a 40, a 45, 60, and 75. And if you take a look at the columns right there, you can see some of the differences. The Pronto 40 is an 80 watt unit. The Pronto 45 is a 100 watt unit. The Pronto 60 is a 130 watt unit and the Pronto 75 is a 150 watt unit. And now that you know what the 60 represents, those other numbers will come into play and give you a rough idea of what your maximum engraving area is gonna be for that particular model. When sourcing a CO2 laser engraver, you always need to think about the possibility of a unicorn or an oddball job coming in one thing I really like about the Pronto series, it does have a large honeycomb work area, but let's just say I need to do something extremely large and it will not fit inside that honeycomb area. By removing that front access panel, and there's another access panel on the back that will fold down. You can now see I can take a much larger piece of material and start to feed that through the front of this laser engraver. This material will continue to go out the back side of that laser. This is called a front to back pass through and some of your much more expensive models don't even feature this. One of my favorite features, if you find yourself doing a lot of vector cuts, cleaning up all those internal pieces can be a nightmare when it falls through that large honeycomb bed. Take a look at this. Simply open that front access area and they've got these awesome panels or drawers that slide in and out. This is gonna make easy work for cleaning up all that extra material. Now, if you have not done a lot of laser engraving, this might not seem like a big deal, but when it comes to maintenance and cleanup, 
This is huge. And while we have this front cover over, you will notice the Pronto comes with nice precision machine ball screws. This makes for nice, quiet operation and precision. One of my favorite things would be the status indicator LED lights on the left and right hand side of the Pronto series. And yes, when it comes to lighting, the inside of the Pronto has an all new LED lighting system. Speaking of ball screws and the honeycomb bed, let's take a quick look at the all new Z height. The Pronto features a large 220 millimeter Z depth. If laser engraving tumblers is a large part of your business, this will save a tremendous amount of time in the setup process. In the front right hand corner, once you lower the bed down, you will notice the Pronto features its own dedicated rotary attachment, it has its own power switch and a four pin connector. This right here is the Pi Burn grip and it's compatible with Omtech Pronto and our discount code RNG Products 5 off not only works on laser engravers, but all these accessories as well. So listen up guys, those are some really neat features they've added onto the Pronto, but this is the meat and the potatoes. This is where we're gonna talk about what you're really paying for. We're talking about the performance of the machine and this all new Pronto has a completely new redesigned transmission system as well as a gantry system. All the components that you see on this Pronto are CNC machine from aircraft grade 6061 aluminum and they're anodized in this really cool looking blue to protect them from the elements. This all new redesigned transmission system you see mounted here in the back of the laser graver along with this new V-Drive system is what allows this unit to raster with speeds up to 1000 millimeters a second. So when you're on the Ohmtech website, take a quick look at the spec sheet. You will notice the baseline Ohmtech laser engravers can only raster up to 600 millimeters a second. The Pronto, like I mentioned, can raster up to a thousand millimeters a second. This is considered a high-speed CO2 laser engraver. The baseline Ohmtech units come with an onboard air assist pump as well as an air extraction unit. But as we all know, that's one of the first upgrades you're gonna make on the baseline units. Ohmtech paid attention to one of those weaknesses and on the Pronto series, this comes with its own dedicated eight inch inline fan that's gonna help extract all those fumes very well. We covered this during the unboxing, but this new Ruida controller comes with a couple safety features. You may love or hate them. One of the things that we like, the air assist and the air extraction pumps and fans will not turn on until you send a job to the laser engraver. Therefore, when you're working inside the laser shop, it is not loud listening to those pumps and motors run. The Pronto also features a couple air pressure safety switches. The laser will shut down and stop running just in case it loses air. This is a safety feature designed to help preserve the laser or the optics just in case you lost air pressure. And a reality often overlooked, yes guys, this is a laser engraver. These produce heat, sometimes they can catch fire. Inside of this Pronto, they do have a heat detection alarm system. If the machine starts to overheat or it detects a fire, it's gonna shut down immediately and send an alarm. Here at the Rise and Grind Workshop, a lot of people ask me, Ryan, what should be the first laser engraver I purchase? Take a quick look at the screen. I'm gonna always recommend a CO2 laser engraver for your first purpose unless you do have a specialized niche that you work in. As you can see, a CO2 laser engraver is what we call a jack of all trades or a workhorse. It's gonna do about 90% of everything you need to do in a basic laser engraving workshop. Now that we've covered a lot of the specifications and I've shown you what you're actually getting for for the extra money, and it's really not even a lot of money compared to some of the features they've included on this when you compare it to some of the more expensive laser engravers on the market. Let's go ahead and get some different materials up in this laser engraver and show you how it works. This product right here is called Leatherette and this is a faux or synthetic leather and this comes in a variety of colors, patterns, and textures. Not only do we source the best Leatherette, we are fortunate enough to be the brand ambassador for the best Leatherette and adhesive on the market Hydebond. When it comes to quality and durability, nobody beats Hydebond, the original creator of thermal activated adhesive. Hydebond adhesive uses a proprietary blend handcrafted right here in the USA. We've already started filming and will be releasing an entire series on how to properly laser engrave and heat press Hydebond leatherette. So now might be a great time to make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ah!
I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love But the fake is, if you wanna play tough, and wanna hate this I'll always show up, and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love But the fake is, if you wanna play tough, and wanna hate this I'll always show up, and make a statement Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented Being negative when you should be getting Now take a quick look at those patches I want you to remember something This Pronto 60 comes with a 130 watt laser tube that is some phenomenal detail at only 325 LPI. A lot of times people think having a much larger 130 watt laser tube, you cannot get fine detail. If you wanted to enhance that detail even further, you could always change out your optics and adjust your focal length. Considering the large size of the work area on the Pronto 60, we mainly use this for vector cutting, but I've been very impressed with the detail you can actually get with the stock tube. Now let me show you a little bit more versatility of a CO2 laser engraver. We need to take this logo you see right here and get that laser engraved on the back of this. So if you're in the market for a CO2 laser engraver, I would highly suggest you take a look at the Pronto line of Ohmtech CO2 laser engravers. I personally feel after having spent a couple weeks on this machine and made over a couple thousand patches, this is a phenomenal buy. If you look at the specs of this unit compared to some of the other much more expensive units on the market, this one can really go head to head. I also want to give a big thank you to all the affiliates that help support the Rise and Grind workshop as well as offering you guys discounts and right now you can save 10% off of Hydebond and all their accessories using discount code Rise and Grind and if you want to save 5% off of an Omtech Pronto or even their baseline or any additional accessories make sure you guys use discount code RNG products 5 off and that'll save you 5% at checkout. Thanks for making it this far into the video and right now would be a perfect time to drop a comment below and let me know what other features you would like to learn about the Omtech Pronto line of CO2 laser engravers. In my next video, I've already started recording, we're gonna run some scan offsets and I'm gonna teach you guys how to take an Omtech laser engraver and dial this thing in and make this thing laser engraved like an industrial laser engraver on a budget. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you on the next one.